a food haul from Spain. Yeah, we're gonna try all the interesting snackies. So we're just gonna try all of these goodies and tell you if it's date. If so if basically, <laughs> we're just gonna tell you guys, are the snacks in Spain dank? <laughs> we just wanna show you guys so you guys can get a better idea of what kind of snacks there are in different countries. Let's start with one of the most traditional things, come on. So if you guys didn't know, Daniela has studied abroad in Spain. So educate us <laughs> and me. What's a jamon? They have this thing called jamon serrano or jamon iberico all over the country. And it's basically just dried, cured ham. All around Spain and you see little like pig legs. <laughs> it looks like this. I actually love it so much, I literally have a pillow. I love these. I have like pillow that looks just like this. She says that, but I've never seen it. I will show you guys. See, it's real. <laughs> wow, it's so cute. I believe you now. Give me that. I told you, you guys didn't believe me. This is my pillow. It's a dust. I think on this trip we should get matching ham tattoos. <laughs> Did she just say that? <laughs> a ham tattoo. That's what we're gonna imprint on our bodies forever. I mean, I already have a rock. That's Might true. Well pass on the ham on. Ham on. <laughs> ham on. Pass on the ham on, bro. Come on, yo. I'm from America. Ham on. Ham on. Can I have some of that jamming? <laughs> Oh gosh, <laughs> if you say it correctly. Come on. Wow. Okay, here's yours. Danke schön. Uh, gracias. De nada. Here's your cheese. Thank you. Jamón serrano con queso. Cheers. Cheers. I need to do the Heimlich? No, I just shouldn't laugh at you at the same time. Oh, this is so good. We just got it from the convenience store. Mm -hmm. It's wow. literally better than anything, any of the ham and cheese you find in America. TBH, IMO. Yeah. I agree with your IMO. <laughs> Go to Spain, y'all, if mm -hmm. you want to try it. Mm -hmm. Also in Spain, they have cones of meat. Yeah. Just like around the street, you can see little shops where they sell cones of meat and cheese. And I think it's the best thing. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I think it's the best thing. <laughs> I think it's the greatest thing to ever exist. These little salamis. Look at the salami. Look at it. It's a little salam. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, the hard. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I've never had a salon like this. It's like sweet almost. I honestly want more serrano. Yeah. But we're gonna get full. True. Do you wanna split one with me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, lady. You're welcome. <laughs> lady? What am I? Chopped liver? <laughs> I was gonna call you sir. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Do you want me to lady and tramp you? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to do? No. I was trying to break it and it just wasn't breaking. That was good. That was a tan and tan. Tan and tan. Next snack. Mm -hmm. mm. Speaking of hamon, we got ruffles hamon flavor. <laughs> Hamon flavored ruffles. <laughs> I'm so curious about this. Will it taste just like the hamon? Cheers. Wow, it tastes like barbecue. I feel like I can taste the hammy flavor. But it does not taste like no. the hamon we just had. It is hammy though. Think about it. What do you taste? Ham. Thank you. It worked. Wow. <laughs> I really thought That's about simple. it. Oh, good. It's nothing crazy to me. I give it a five out of 10. That seems reasonable, five out of 10. I'm just thinking of the people that like don't know what this is. Oh. <laughs> <We're> like, <laughs> every time we raise something, I give it I a give five out of 10. <laughs> Keith Lee, oh, our well. favorite food our, critic on our TikTok. Our favorite Vegas and. Mm -hmm. All right, I need something to wash down the saltiness with. Why well, have the perfect thing for you, man. What? <laughs> What? What? What is it? What is it? Oh my We're goodness, what could it be? What could it be? Oh! oh my gosh. Wow. Show the folks at home. Hopefully for it's focusing, we don't, yeah, we don't know. It's too bright for us to see. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Sorry, we're such noobs at filming. Something goes wrong in every video. I know, we have technical difficulties every all the time. Every single time. 
So hopefully there's none in this one. <laughs> Anyways, here we have Alhambra Cerveza. This for those of age. 21 plus. 21 and up. Why do we just get so aggressive when we're talking about being of age? I don't know. Because we are. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I lived in Spain for a year. We heard months. that. The Let me finish time. the sentence, Sorry. girl. Okay. And I lived in this city called Granada. Granada has a very famous monument called the Alhambra, which is like this huge castle. castle. I knew that. And so that's why this beer is called Alhambra from Granada since 1920. <coughs> oh! While I was living there, uh, I was of age. So Were you? I, yeah. Oh. I was in my 20s. I still am in my 20s. <laughs> She's actually 45. Shut up. She got the Benjamin It's all my disease. skin. <laughs> Routine? Just kidding. She's still in her 20s. Yeah. So, <laughs> I can't even get through this sentence. Gosh. You're still on the same sentence? I'm trying. Am I interrupting too much? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> While I was living there, all of us in university would drink these. It's one of the most traditional beers here in Spain. For those 21 and up, if you're out there. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Salute. 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 <laughs> the tea. Salute. Salute. Arriba. Arriba. Por abajo. Por abajo. Centro. Por un centro. Por dentro. Por un dentro. Ooh. That was the Mexican in me. Mm-hmm. Snaps. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the Mexican in you. Yeah? <laughs> I'm Filipino. Oh my gosh. I did not know that. Oh my. <laughs> she she made a pun, y'all. <laughs> pun, but she really is Filipino. I am. That's what why I it? bought these snacks. Oh, it's called, it's literally called Filipinos. Yeah. I just had to buy them because I was like, I've never seen a snack called Filipinos, and I'm Filipino. Can you uh, translate what this is? Con autentico chocolate con leche. Authentic that. chocolate with milk. <coughs> Sorry, I just got your face. You got that I was so surprised that you got that. Thanks. <laughs> you know I have your cough on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me just wipe that off. That you were correct. Thank you. I, I know. With chocolate. Yes. Authentic chocolate with milk. You may do the honors. <gasps> Look! Those are so cute. Yeah, they're little circles. Eat up, buttercup. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Mmm. Delectable. These are really good guys. I think mainly because the chocolate in Europe hits different. Because it's authentic. They use real ingredients. But Vanessa. Hello? Oh, shoot. Where'd she come from? Hello? Like, what the heck? Vanessa. Hey. Y'all got snacks? <laughs> we got snacks. I want to try. What is this? Where are you? <laughs> I'm in my room. Why do you have your own window? <laughs> because I'm special. It's like a little drive through <laughs> It is. I'm placing my order. Okay, what's your order, ma'am? What you what you got? I got Filipinos. Oh, Me! <laughs> try the Filipinos. Mm. So good. Yeah. Okay, try the ham chips. I feel like these are too conflicting though. Who cares? Oh wow. She what got a refined palette. But what if it's like ratatouille and you just have to mix mm. the grape with the cheese? This is so I can't even taste because I, all I taste is chocolate. Can you pass me my jacket? I'm kind of cold. <laughs> this is so convenient. Yeah, just one second. <clears throat> okay. Where'd she go? I don't know. Oh, she's back. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for the snacks. You're welcome. Call me back if there's something else good. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye. We'll miss you. Do you chips? <laughs> You, you miss your twin already, huh? <laughs> She's right over there. <laughs> what do you give it? The Filipinos. I gave the Filipinos 8 out of 10. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I think I gave it a like a 7 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I think the only reason I'm lowering it is because I was expecting it to be a donut. Me too! And it wasn't. It looks disappointed. It looks like a donut yeah. on the packaging. Yeah, when I bit not. into it and it was hard, I was like, oh, it's a cookie. It is a cookie. Not a donut. Agreed. <laughs> you better go. You, just you know what? I think Vanessa's making us a really good snack that we need to show on camera. I think so. I think yeah. she's making it right now. So let's go. Vanessa! Hello! Vanessa, tell us. What are you making us? Some cola cow. <laughs> With okay. cereal. 
I have no idea what that means, what that is. What is a cola cow? It's cow? like warm cereal. <laughs> warm cereal? Kind of like a chocolate milk, but you warm it up and then you put cola cow in it. It's, it's nice. kind of like Nesquik, you stir it up and then you put cereal inside and eat it like that. But it can't just be any cereal. It has to be this dark chocolate special K because then when you use this, the little dark chocolate pieces melt inside. Oh, smart. She's she's a smart. If you see this, thank you. And Yummy. That's it. Thank you, and Vanessa. You it. It's so warm. Yes. Oh. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. I'm so excited to try this warm cereal. <laughs> that sounds gross. <laughs> it's really good. Okay, this is what it looks mm. like. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Well, Holy shoot. <laughs> really? Oh my goodness gracious. This is Dang. It's bomb, isn't it? <laughs> it's Gucci. Oh <laughs> Look at you. That's the words Daniello uses. Dude, this yeah. is so good. Yeah, and you have to like slurp it up with it. Oh my. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Regina. Try this at home if you can, guys. It doesn't have to be cold cow. You can try this with hot chocolate mm -hmm. and special K cereal. Mm -hmm. But it still tastes very similar. Yeah. It warms my soul. <laughs> it makes me believe in love again. <laughs> you been through some stuff. What are some of your guys' favorite snack concoctions? Comment below. Yeah. And we should try them for a video. Yeah. Or if you live in a different country, tell us what your favorite snack over there is. Maybe we'll travel there just to try it. I mean, I'm down. I don't yeah. got a job. Okay. This is our job. I don't know. <laughs> We're trying to make this into our job. If you're here watching us, thank you for supporting us. Every single one of you means a lot to us and we appreciate your guys' support. We wouldn't be here without you. We really wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think about that? It make <laughs> me emotional. I haven't told you this yet, but I would just be walking here in Spain uh -huh. and then I would literally like tear up. <laughs> really? <laughs> Put my glasses on. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here. Oh my gosh. Really? I'm like, what is my life? You know, I went through a hard year. <laughs> And I am the happiest I've ever been. Most of that is because of you guys watching. It really honestly. is though. Living and we're just the dream. Filming and having fun. <sighs> Let's take a moment. <laughs> I'm okay. I cried yesterday. Dude, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Anyways, life is beautiful, guys. Yeah. Just enjoy the moments. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the little things. Next snack. Next snack that we got for you guys is turron. This is a really traditional snack here in Spain. This is kind of like a nougat. Whoa! Whoa. I wasn't expecting it to look like this. One big schlap. What does Danielle always say? Try everything once. <laughs> and then you can make an opinion and decision on whether you like it or not. But you gotta try it once. <laughs> is it supposed to be oily? I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen it this oily. <laughs> try everything once. Look how oily it made my hands. Turon. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This tastes like a Filipino snack. Mm -hmm. Filipino. Filipino. Mexican. It tastes like pulveron. A very like sandy texture almost, but like yeah. in a good way. Mexicans actually have a snack just like this too. Oh really? Yeah. I guess we all have our own little version of this. It makes sense. We were conquered by Spain. Us too. Yeah, that's why we share a bond. But now we're <laughs> conquering Spain. <laughs> Taking it on. <laughs> Payback. We're here in your country eating yeah. your snack. I would give that a uh, 5 out of 10. I will also give it a 5 out of 10. It was good, but I've had better duron. We also got a dried orange with chocolate. Can you see it? Can you see it? You can have those since you bought it, and I'll try this other version that you can get from the store. These are cintas de naranja. So basically, this is the same thing, except they're chocolate little jellies. Me and Daniela both love chocolate-covered orange. Or yeah. Whatever. You might think it's like a weird combination, but it actually goes together so well. <laughs> okay. Cheers, cheers. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Incredible. Fantastic. Exquisite. Spectacular. Bomb.com. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Warheads sour 
drink. Yeah, I don't know if this is specific to Spain or anything like that, but we just found it in a convenience store. It's our first time seeing something like this. Like a sour drink? Okay. I'll try it first and then okay. you try it. You can try it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I want to now. Just try it! Really? Drink it! Your reaction is telling me not to. No. Drink it. something like this can't be good for you it tastes like straight up syrup so it's just malic acid sugar and water and uh other stuff that probably is not good for your body <laughs> nasty i'm gonna have to give it a zero out of ten it wasn't even sour it too it just wasn't good look at this guys mini croissants, croissants. I just think they're really cute. I mean, they it probably tastes like a normal croissant, but I've never seen yeah. a mini one, and I'm a sucker for mini things. I think you can get these in the States, but... <clears throat> oh. It tastes like a croissant. But mini. Mm-hmm. Four out of ten. Three out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> they have amazing pastries here, though. Everywhere you walk, Right on the corner, there's pastry a Pastry shop, other corner. Pastry shop, other corner. Pastry, pastry shop. shop. Other corner. Pastry, pastry shop. shop. Way too many pastries while I'm out here. But I walk it off, because yeah. we walk a lot out here. Yeah, that's what yeah. we also love about Spain. Now, we, we live in Vegas. Yeah. So you can't walk a lot there. This is not a walkable city, so. No. It's so fun just being out and about, seeing the world mm -hmm. for the first time. You have to like walk everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. You see where you find. Yeah. Where life takes you. Yeah. Who you're gonna see and meet. Mm -hmm. What kind of foods you're gonna find. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> Spain is a beautiful country. Beautiful. With beautiful food. And beautiful people. And beautiful places. Paprika. Paprika. Paprika Pringle. See, they don't got the paprika Pringle in the States. Mm. Yellow's actually lived in Spain for a year. Did you guys know that? How many times have we said that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I would like to know, how was it like living here? It was so fun, actually. Uh, like we just said, it's a very walkable place. And it's just, the culture is different. It's not so much about the hustle and bustle of finding a job in the nine to five. One of the favorite things I learned about the Spanish lifestyle, they take naps. Siestas, <laughs> they call it. Yeah. I like around, around three o'clock, right? Yeah, like three, four. All the small businesses close down. Everybody from school goes home and they have lunch with their families and then they return back to school and work. And that's what I mean. They just really savor like a slower lifestyle. Mm -hmm. They really value and prioritize time with friends and family. Everywhere you look, it doesn't matter if it's a weekday. They're just out and about. In America, you go to work, you go home. Take a walk. Get off that couch, stop watching the TV, and go for a walk. <laughs> that was in my mouth way too long. Paprika. I would like to give that one a 6 out of 10. If I had to rate it out of Pringles, I'd give it like a 9 out of 10. It's one of the better Pringles I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Haribo Fresas con Nata. You can learn in Spanish. I think that means strawberries and cream. Yeah. They have a little cream one. Can you see it? And then they got a little strawberry. <laughs> Watch it just not be focusing. <laughs> We're you, trying. You get the idea. Yeah, we're really trying. Strawberry and cream. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the white one's definitely different. Mm hmm Like it's softer. Fluffier. Mm hmm And then the strawberry one's just like a normal strawberry gummy. It's only like four out of ten. Four out of ten. Do you want to try some real strawberries? Yeah! My sister Vanessa, one of her favorite snacks here in Spain, dried strawberries. Is it focusing? You guys tell us. <laughs> There's a feature. Oh, there it is focusing. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, these are real strawberries, but they're candied. <laughs> these are so much better than those. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. real fruit over candy yeah. fruit. These are like one of my favorite snacks ever, too. If you're ever in Spain, they have these markets that you can just find a bunch of dried fruit, just like this. And they taste like gummies, but they're way better. <laughs> no, 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 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Sorry. I Actually, I don't love dried fruit, but I love that. Don't beat me up. Is it awkward now? <laughs> <laughs> Are we still friends? <laughs> we can still be friends. Okay. Okay. And I 
Life is good. <laughs> You're good? <laughs> Life is good, but are you good? <laughs> Estoy llena. I'm full. Estoy llena. Estoy llena. Muy bien. Gracias. Well, we did some damage here, y'all. This is our snack haul. The or damage it. has been done. That was dinner. Yeah, I think it was. Gracias! We enjoyed doing this Spain food haul with you guys. Yay! We love you guys! We wouldn't be here without you, so thanks again. And if you want to see us try any foods from any countries that you guys live in or any crazy food concoctions that you have, drop it in the comments below because we love doing food hauls. Yay. Adios from Spain! Adios! Oh.